Hey y'all, I'm very excited. Today we're making homemade vanilla extract. It takes two ingredients. Vodka, for me, I use vodka. Um, you, I think others use ra uh, rum, brandy, anything. But they say this is the most neutral taste. If you buy pure vanilla extract, you are getting alcohol, whether you know it or not. We do not drink. So, disclaimer there, we do not drink. You need vanilla beans. And I ordered these from Amazon. There's several different kinds and I won't go into all that because I don't know that much about it. But what I got is Madagascar. And uh, there's so many ways to do this. Um, I bought these little bo bottles a while back and I'm doing these for gifts and uh, for my kids, and um, I'm excited about it. I also bought little labels, and it says homemade vanilla extract by Val at our Forever Farm. And I got those custom done um, to stick on my bottles. And um, I haven't quite decided yet if I'm gonna do a big batch in this and let it sit till Christmas, and then I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a big batch, put all my beans in here, and, um, and I'll show you how we do that. So again, I'm no expert on this. Um, I've only made very little, a small batch. But the way I understand it, I've, I've took my beans out. I hope you can see those. They're very, very bendable, pliable. You can buy some in the grocery store, they say, that is um, hard as a rock, and you don't want those. I special order these. So in my pack, it came one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, there's oils in these. These grow on a plant that's an orchid is the way I understand it. Um, and like I say, oh my goodness, you should smell them. Oh my goodness, they're unbelievable. So if you have a year to wait, you can drop these in your container uh, for hold, just hold like this. I don't wanna wait a year. I want to give these to my kids uh, for Christmas. So I'm gonna snip these. I'm gonna cut them right down the middle and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. It's hard to see in here. Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. And uh, inside here is small, um, small beans and oils. And goodness, oh my goodness, you should smell it. Again, you want the kind that bends, that's it's kind of oily feeling, see my hands? So, um, I might should wear gloves doing this. I think I will. You can put it's these like whole in your jar, in your bottle, whatever you're using. But if you, and that takes a long time to extract these uh, little beans. What I'm doing is I'm gonna cut this, not all the way to the end, but I'm cutting this just like this. And I hope I did that in the camera. And I'm gonna cut all of these just like that. Just right down the middle. I hope y'all can see that. I love the holidays. I love baking. Um, and this is something I've wanted to do on a bigger scale. And I wanted my kids to experience the uh, real taste of vanilla. So if you're afraid of the alcohol, let me assure you, when you bake, the alcohol will be, it will evaporate. The alcohol, is, the way I understand this, again, correct me if I'm wrong, is this is an extractor. It will extract the vanilla flavor out of these beans and it will it will serve as a preservative. So 
You have to keep these beans completely covered with the alcohol or they will mold. Um, the time you're waiting on all this, well, I can't get into the, to that one, is to let this cure. And, oh, y'all should smell this. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I'm still trying to decide whether to do the the big batch or just go ahead and do them in the individual bottles. It might make quicker if I do it in the individual bottles. Let's see. So there they are, they're all cut. Now, some people take and scrape out the inside and let it soak in there. That also will speed up the process. But these are just split right down the middle. This is how I'm gonna do it. And I believe I am gonna do the, these in the individual jars. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop, this is an eight ounce bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and drop about probably five of these into this eight ounce bottle. I believe they said three to five per cup, I think. But another good thing about making your own is this will not be the only time you will use these beans. You can keep this covered with alcohol. Uh, again, it has to be an 80 proof and let it cure again. So you can re reuse these beans, especially if they're whole. Cutting them like this, they won't have the life in them that they would whole. You could just keep on using them over and over if they were whole. But I don't have the time to wait because Christmas is coming, it's October. So I've put five beans in this. I wanna show I'm you gonna another way that I've saw done. Some people just take all the beans and cut them in half. That also opens them up, not quite as much. So you can go ahead and you can go and split these two. So two of these would be considered one. Again, I'm using little eight ounce bottles. So that's one. I'm putting uh, five whole beans split in half and cut. I'm just showing you a different way to do it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this vodka to cover the beans. And as you can see, now it's clear. I'm ready to make a big batch of these. This, this just excites me. You talk about good, oh my goodness. Now, you remember, you, you will not use this right away. This will be used several months down the, down the road. I think mine should be ready in about 12 weeks, so even if the kids have to wait at, after Christmas, I'll tell you the way that you can tell when they're ready when I get this all done. I was worried I might not have enough for all these bottles. But I think I will. I'll make sure the ones we halved, you can see, are definitely not gonna, the vodka is gonna keep it covered. These up at the top, you've got to make sure this stays covered. And I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more in each of these. Because I want to make sure that they're topped off. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five beans left over. I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half, and, and I'm going to just let these go in like this into a pint jar. I've got just a little bit of the vodka left. It's probably a, a cup or so. Should fill this up, or almost fill it. Definitely cover them. So let's see, I'm gonna pour this in here. Oh yeah, it should fill it up. Yay, it was exactly, exactly the amount. Oh, oh, oh. almost. Uh, I have, might have a little bit left. 
I can put in one of these bottles. Yes, I'll put it in one of these bottles. Well, I can do that later. So, one thing, if you do this in a jar, let me uh, tell you, they say not to put metal um, on there. So, what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of parchment paper, paper or wax paper. I'm just putting it on there. These lids tend to leak, so that's the reason I'm putting the paper. But I would not put the ring and the cap on there. I'm just gonna cut this off because I wanna see I wanna see my vanilla. Don't want paper covering it up. And you just wanna shake that. So so far we've done one, two, three, four, five. We've done five eight ounce bottles and we've done one pint out of this $12 bottle of vodka. There's just a little bit left and I'm gonna top these jars off. I love these labels in the little bottles. I got them on Amazon. Imagine that, right? Well, that one's crooked. That'll be mine. That's what I get for talking and putting on labels, right? I just think they're so cute. Homemade vanilla extract by Val at our Forever Farm. I love that. I think it's beautiful. I'm even gonna put a label on my jar. Who knows, somebody might get this for Christmas. I just love this. I wish I could just pick them all up and show you how proud I am of these. These are beautiful. They're gonna be beautiful. Now, how you tell if they're done? And like I say, the longer you wait, the better. That's the way it is for most things. The longer they can cure, the better. But when you want to know if they're ready to bake with, I'll tell you a quick way to do it. Get some, a little bit of milk, pour a little bit of vanilla flavoring in the milk and taste of the milk. If you taste vanilla, it's ready. If you taste vodka, it's not. So again, the vodka is just for an extractor. It's used for an extractor uh, and a preservative. It, this doesn't bother me in the least to use this. So if it offends you, I am sorry. Um, I went up to my pastor and told him what I was doing. <laughs> he laughed, he thought it was funny. He's a cool pastor. Um, but I, I wanted to make sure that he didn't think I was buying this, because I don't. And, you know, it don't matter. So, I do want to show you some that I did a while back in a bottle. And you can see the difference in this and this. Clear, done. Clear, done. Very sweet little gifts. I'll tie a ribbon around that. It'll look like this. Merry Christmas, right? I'm excited. Oh, it takes about 12 weeks for these to be ready in these small bottles. And like I say, do the milk test. And uh, I'll tell my children that too. And uh, when it's ready is when it tastes like vanilla. So, isn't that beautiful? I just think it's beautiful. We can do so many things, so many things, if we just try. Uh, oh, one other thing I wanna talk about is the cost. This, whatever this is, big bottle of vodka, it was $12. They say to get the cheapest. Um, the bottles, I'll have to look that up. They're on Amazon, they weren't much. The beans were the most expensive thing, but let me assure you, if you are buying real pure vanilla, you are paying a lot for it. There's something satisfying about making something from nothing, well, there's not nothing, but beans and vodka, I mean, who would have thought? You could use just jars. That's all you have to use. I... So just to recap, vodka, vanilla beans. You can use the whole beans. You can cut them like I did for a faster cure. Uh, you want to shake these. Um, every time you see them, I would just, not a, a just turn them, just turn them. Um, 
keep them in a cool, dark place. And in about 12 weeks in these little bottles and this jar, you should have vanilla flavoring. Uh, the milk test, like I told you before, is how you test to see if it's ready like this. Y'all go cook something. Seriously, cook something.